Danielle gave us a lead to a guy named Michael. She said he's got a couple storage units. She really doesn't know what's in there, but he's ready to sell. This looks pretty kind of uh, upscale here for us. As I'm looking around at the horses and the stables and the land and how pretty this place is, this guy's got some money. But that's great in a picker's world because that means they've been able to buy quality things. Howdy. Hey. How are you? How you doing? You Michael? Good. I am. Talk to Danielle on the phone. I did. Welcome. Nice to meet Good you. To see you guys. Hey, Frank, how are you doing? Guys. Danny said you had like a couple storage units, but this is a little different than that. Yeah. I guess you could call them storage units, but we got plenty. This is a farm that my family's lived on for generations. We have about 300 acres here and a number of buildings. How long have you guys been here? Well, as a family, we've been in this property for five generations and in this town for 10. For 10? Yeah, it started in 1750. Wow. That means 10 generations of accumulation. Where should we start? I want to hit the barn. Yeah, let's start in the big barn first. <laughs> Whoa, Frank, there it is. I think it's a 69 Sportster. There you go. Harley Davidson produced Sportsters. They were 900cc bikes. They were like an entry level bike. Sportsters are still made today, and they're one of Harley Davidson's most popular motorcycles. This is the total opposite of what you did expect to see in here, isn't it? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> This bike is a great piece, but it's been customized. The frame's been chromed, a lot of the parts have been chromed. That's great if you're looking for that type of bike. But most people are looking for stock. That's where the real money's at. I'd probably be in it on the high side. Maybe 1,400 bucks. 1,400? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm looking for something more around 2,500, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 25, I can buy these now done. I buy them for 2,500 running, because you can buy an 883 Sportster for 35. And that's evolution motor, that's push start, kick, boom, bang. At 2,500, I gotta take a step back. I just hope that everything else isn't gonna be expensive. We do have an attic that might be uh, might be interesting to you. It's a little different stuff, but it's up in the top of the main house. We would love, love to look to. anywhere. Gosh, so how many bedrooms? Uh, 12. Whew, this place is a mansion. I mean, it's huge. How many bathrooms? Jeez, I'm not sure I've ever counted them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that he's gonna let us walk into this house and pick it. Wow. Nice place. Thanks. God dang, it's like three stories. Yeah, back. it's crazy. Oh my God. Michael, I got a couple smalls over here. Smalls is how we make a living. I got a truck, somebody painted. This is just a little lighter fluid. And then I got a dealing machine. 50 bucks. Good. All right. We got it. Look at this thing. Buck Rogers. It's actually a Buck Rogers costume for a little kid. Buck Rogers. I find a Buck Rogers holster. And then you've got the spurs here. How about for all of it? 95. 95. Okay. Yeah, it's a dog house. It's made to look like a train car. Yeah. I'd take a chance for 30. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Like superheroes. I was thinking they were squash. 10 a piece. Sounds all right to me. Okay. You're cleaning up today. As much as I love smalls, I'd love to leave this pick with a big item. Can we take another look at that bike? Sure. Doesn't want to roll too good here. There you go, just help me pull, there you go. Yeah, 69 Sportster. I thought, you know what? You don't see these every day, but I had to get it at the right price. Well, is that like 1,400 last we talked? About 1,500. Uh, I could come down maybe to 19. 19, yeah. Just hard to buy something. It doesn't look like it's really been sitting that long, but I bet it's been sitting for 10 years. Could be. How about 17? The idea is to get stuff out of these bars, not to keep putting them back in. All righty. Great. Good deal. Good deal. Never came to hey, terms. Thanks. I paid $1,700 for the 69 Sportster. I think it's worth at least $2,800. Hey, thanks great. for sharing your family's yeah, history fun. with us. Uh, our, that was well, great. That was great. It was really nice to see them taking the stuff that was just sitting in those barns and would continue to sit in those barns and really take a liking to it. And it's going to get out, and somebody is going to really cherish these things. And there's more. When you come back next time, we got more for you. All, All right, right. Greg. My business is called Antique Archaeology. And when we're digging through a family that's got 10 generations of stuff, that's exactly what we're doing. We're unearthing the past. And that's why this pick is going down in picking folklore. Sweet picking! Hey, See you, guys. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.